Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, most of you guys who know me know you see what you get. And when I get excited, I get hyper. And when I get hyper, I get excited. So on Sunday, July the 4th, when I left church, I went home and I called somebody who will listen to me when I'm hyper and excited. And there are only very few people that are like that. So I called my dad and I told him what I was hyper and excited about. And as the afternoon went on, it wore off. And then on Tuesday night, July 6th, about 6 o'clock, my cell phone rang and it was Pastor Johnny. Pastor Johnny said, we've got a youth house over here that looks like an island. And it probably rained three or four inches in an hour, hour and a half time span and water was everywhere. So I jumped in my truck to come down here and see what was going on and I picked up the phone and I called Frank. Frank jumped in his truck and he came over here and he met Johnny and I. And we were walking over here seeing what was going on while all this water was standing. And when we got all the palm fronds moved off of the storm drain, we were walking back, the water started receding. And we started talking about what happened at church on Sunday. And I got excited and I got hyper. <laughs> and they had to deal with me. And then I went home and I wrote this poem. But before I read you the poem, I'd like to dedicate it to Renee. Because she is an outreach of this church. And without her arms reaching out, it's not possible. So here's small packages. Each and every Sunday, just before we pray, we take a few minutes to share. Blessings we are thankful for, burdens we cannot carry alone. Then we go to the Lord in prayer. I recall one Sunday morning when I heard a special request. The preacher asked if we could join together for something good, for we are truly blessed. He asked us to bring some simple things to lift the spirits of those who serve. Everybody shared and boxes were prepared for a gesture well deserved. The parcels went to the post office where the boxes could be weighed. The clerk gave them their postmark and the postage bill was paid. They would leave the post office, travel halfway around the world, destined for a war-torn land, to bring smiles to the faces, to those in faraway places, spending their days in desert sand. A young man went to the postal tent to see what the mailman brought. The typical letters and cards from home, maybe a smile, he thought. The clerk handed him a parcel box. He didn't recognize the label for return. Could this really be for him? He'd have to open it up to learn. It was a small cardboard box from thousands of miles away, postmarked in a little town along the shores of Tampa Bay. He took it back to the barracks, cut through the top of the lid. What a nice surprise before his eyes when he saw the things he did. Halfway around the world, homes like a million miles away, the box contained the little things we take for granted every day. Crossword puzzles and playing cards, games to pass the time. Crystal light packets to flavor the water when the temperature starts to climb. Beef jerky to nibble on and good coffee for the cup. Calling cards to call back home when hearts need a pick me up. We sent them the little things, sending everything we could. Good things come in small packages. Let me tell you, God is good. Each and every Sunday, just before we pray, we take a few minutes to share. Blessings we are thankful for, burdens we cannot carry alone. Then we go to the Lord in prayer. I recall one Sunday morning when the preacher shared a note written by a soldier and he read us what he wrote. He thanked us for the goodies and told us they were well received, thanked us for our kindness and glad that we believed. He referenced the note we'd sent them, let us know if you need anything. We are going to build a terminal. It might be ready in the spring. We are in need of some tools, like a hammer and some nails. The preacher asked if we could join together for something good and ship them some stuff in the mail. A young man went to the postal tent to see what the mailman brought. The typical letters and cards from home, maybe a smile, he thought. The clerk handed him a parcel box. He knew the label for return. The box was heavy. It felt like tools. 
he had to open it up to learn. A hammer of tape, hardware galore, a drill and a saw, and so much more. Filled with big cardboard box from thousands of miles away, postmarked in a little town along the shores of Tampa Bay. Each and every Sunday, just before we pray, we take a few minutes to share. Blessings we are thankful for, burdens we cannot carry alone. Then we go to the Lord in prayer. I recall Sunday, July the 4th, the year 2010. The preacher asked if we would share, and a few joined right in. Then a young man in desert camels rose for the occasion. He told the congregation his name and where he was currently stationed. He told us of the packages. The Lord works in majestic ways. There's power in the postmark of this little town in Tampa Bay. He thanked us for the games and goodies, the hammers and the nails. He thanked us for our prayers in a way he couldn't do through the mail. In the back left corner of this church, there the soldiers stood. Good things come in small packages. So let me tell you, God is good. Thank you.